Hi guys, today we'll be taking a look at the EAR 854 uh, Phono uh, preamp stage uh, from uh, Zero Zone. Uh, this is uh, one of the builds that comes with uh, separate power supply and the Phono stage is in a separate chassis. Uh, both of them are connected with that power cable, quite secure, quite nice quality. Uh, in the front of the phono stage we have a volume setting control uh, and the uh, power supply has just status uh, LED. Uh, I got this particular version with the volume control uh, because as I've noticed on the photos um, of both versions because you can also get that one uh, without uh, volume control, uh, the boards have exactly the same. The only difference is that uh, this one has uh, added uh, Blue Alps uh, in a signal path, so it's uh, extremely easy uh, to bypass the volume pot if I ever need to do something like that. Uh, having uh, volume control uh, is quite a nice feature uh, that I can disable if I want to, uh, and the price difference is completely insignificant. Uh, so, wait for my uh, full review, and, but in case uh, you'd be wondering which one should you get, uh, I would get a volume control version one even if you won't be using that because, uh, as I said, it's extremely easy to bypass, uh, it may be useful, and the price difference is basically nothing. Okay, so let's start with the power supply. On the back we have uh, a power output, uh, we have uh, information about the pinout for the power output. We have uh, power socket connector, we have, we have integrated fuse compartment and we have power locker. As you can see I got the version for 250 volts and it's also available for 150. The chassis is quite thick, it's not as thick as with most of the clone amplifiers, but then again it's smaller and it's still more solid than most of the uh, TPA amplifiers, for example. So what do we have here? Uh, we have here nice toroidal transformer with metal shielding. Unfortunately, there is no information uh, on the shield, no label, no sticker with the power output uh, for the toroidal transformer. Uh, it's quite heavy. Uh, but the power output here is not that important because uh, this is not uh, the device that will consume uh, much power. So, as you can see, the board is gold plated, looks, looks really nice. Uh, we have two uh, grads um, rectifier bridges uh, and we have a set of caps. Uh, these guys are can you see that? No, you can't. Uh, these uh, gold ones uh, are Samyang capacitors. You may be able to see that for a second now. Yeah, Samyang capacitors. These big ones are Nova. Let's rotate it maybe like that, you'll have more light. Yeah, Nova caps. And those guys here are Rubicons. Uh, these are rated, uh, these novels are rated for 100 microfarads, each one of them, and uh, some ones are rated for 22 microfarads, you should be able to see that. Now, the Rubicons are rated for 200, sorry, 2200 microfarads each, yeah, should be visible now. So, so it's quite simple. Power supply, looks nice, and we have a blue status LED in front. So, let's take a look at the phono stage. As I said, volume control in the front, set of inputs and outputs in the back, ground connector uh, with a spring. This is an actually interesting thing because you can just push it and use the bare wire. To connect the ground. And we have uh, power input made in China. Yeah, so let's open it up. The case, the chassis is exactly the same as it was with the power supply. And what do we have inside? 
let's have it like that. It's using three ECC83 tubes. The stock tubes uh, are provided by the PS Vine. Uh, these are these are PS Vine base series. They are quite nice in all of the equipment that I've tested so far, uh, so I really like them. But then again, uh, there's a room uh, for replacement. There's a room for tuning to your uh, to your loved sound signature with some new old stock tubes. Uh, again, the board is gold plated. It's quite simple, as you can see. It's marked with the Gili, Gili Audio or something like that. Uh, the same way uh, as uh, was it. Uh, uh, one of the preamplifiers, two preamplifiers that I've already tested had the same brand markings. Uh, and as you can see, the Blue Alps is connected uh, via this black cable uh, with the outputs. Uh, and that's basically it. Um, if you take a look here, uh, can you see it? Yes, you should be able to see that. Uh, here's the right output, here's the left output, so basically the signal goes from the output of the board through the potentiometer to the output to the output of the device. It's very easy to bypass that one. <clears throat> As for the capacitors, uh, again we have, uh, how should I rotate it, yeah, you should be able to see right now that these ones uh, are Samyangs, rated for 22 microfarads. Uh, we also have uh, German Euro cups, and these are rated for 1 microfarad, uh, which is an interesting thing because, uh, as you can see, the spaces here, the mounting points, are prepared for quite large capacitors, so you may replace that one with something of your choosing, although German aero cups are quite nice. And we also have some, I think, MK key, MKP cups here, but I'm not sure about that. I haven't seen similar cups earlier. <coughs> and uh, these guys, the brown ones uh, here, are looking like they are 0 0.12 microfarad. Uh, the description on the board says that it can be anything between 0 0.1 and uh, 0 0.15 if yes my camera will focus right now so 0 0.12 uh, gets uh, right uh, in the middle of the range uh, but I have no idea who manufactures this I haven't seen anything like that earlier if you have uh, an idea if you can give me a hint about that uh, give me a shout in the comments for the video because uh, it would be quite interesting to learn what these are actually so as you can see the power cable is nicely routed around the board like that uh, the cables look like they are good quality the ground the external ground is connected to the board ground and we also have some German uh, Vima cups here. And we have some cups, these ones, the black guys, that are marked as NASSS, N -A -S -S, NES, uh, and they are branded as being made in Japan. But I'm also not familiar with this brand. And I think that's it. The board looks nice, highly symmetrical. There are some builds that uh, have both the uh, preamplifier, the phono stage, and the power supply in one chassis. But the price difference again is uh, negligible. The, you can actually pay the same amount to get them separated. Uh, so that's uh, the way I chose. And then think that that's it. Uh, they'll uh, they. Both of them will be going for a Berlin right now, and then there will be uh, some uh, full review coming with sound signature test. Uh, I will test it with I will test it with two um, turntables that I have right now. Uh, the first one is uh, Angel's Horn that I've been reviewing earlier, and the second one is uh, Audio Technica LPW. 
50 uh, B, as far as I remember, the one with the, without the Bluetooth, um, with uh, 8740 micro line uh, cartridge. Uh, so it will be nice to check how this uh, preamp, how this phono stage influences the sound uh, of the affordable and very good value uh, Angel's horn and Audio Technica. Uh, Audio Technica is uh, using uh, way better stylus and way better cartridge. So that's all for now. If you have noticed anything interesting in here, uh, if you'd like to ask about anything uh, or if you have something to share, give me a shout in the comments and stay tuned for the full review. Have a nice day, guys. Bye.